All right, here we go. Hey, thank you very much. Seven month deployment. Damn. Well, welcome back once again. Good to see you here. And you are just in time for an amazing match between two incredible players. Welcome back, Rob. We've got Spawny down on the bottom right, representing Team Liquid. It is Clem. Malem. And his opponent, spotting up at the top left, representing Dragon Phoenix Gaming. It is Dark. In the blue. Such a... Such an incredible match that we get this year. So exciting. Welcome back to SC2 and welcome back home as well. We are going to be seeing a pool first out of dark. Interesting. What is the what is the weapon of choice with this? If this is this an anti uh, proxy Rax because Clem doesn't proxy Rax, he never does. Or is this going to be a very aggressive uh, Roach push? Maybe a, a Roach with a couple Ravagers morphed on in. Dark CVT is insanely scary. He is so good at this matchup. There it is. There is the Roach Warren. Now, Clem will scout in, and he's going to be able to see that there is an expansion at a timing that there should not be an expansion. It should already be basically done by the time he gets there. And he's going to see that it's not going to be done. I don't think he caught those Zerglings leaving. Does see two of them here. But won't know about the other uh, other four. Now, the Reaper is going to go hunting for this. Actually... Will they switch between NA West and East? No, they'll probably just go Central. Maybe between West and Central, but they would never go East. East would be a little bit too advantageous for the European player. Uh, Roaches are going to start on up here. And we do have the four Zerglings getting in on top of Clem's base. Oh, this is actually going to be quite a problem. Clem did not realize that those four Zerglings slipped out. And he's actually going to lose one of the Marines. Might even lose two. Oh, he's going to lose both Marines. This is actually so bad. This is so bad right here. Might even lose an SCV. Oh, yes, he is. And the Zergling survives. Meanwhile, the Reaper went down on the other side of the map. There's no army units with four Roaches barreling down. Oh, my God. Is Dark just going to kill Clem right now? He has to cancel the natural expansion. Rebuilds it in the main. This is so bad. This is so bad for Clem. Dark, though, he's continuing to build Zerglings. I... Ooh. This is a big disrespect move out of Dark, and it might backfire. It might win him the game. But he could get so far ahead from this. Ooh, is that barracks or bunker going to finish? It will eventually... He's going to get in on top of this. Two bunkers started on up here. Wise move from Clem. So I'm going to try and prepare this reactor. But we're going to see target fire now on the SCVs. More as more Zerglings being built here. I don't know about this move. This is a little bit bold to me. But he's going to get in. He's going to break through this reactor. He's going to find so much damage. Clem losing those first two Marines. Yeah, that was game, game losing. And we are going to see Dark. He will win this game. Does lose the one Roach. Doesn't matter. Tark takes a very, very quick game number one. That was not supposed to happen. This should be final, but Dark does not play online much. Am I right? Yes. Uh, they also reset the reset the seating recently. So it made things a little funky. That was not supposed to be a game-ending push. That was absolutely not supposed to be a game-ending push. But losing the Marines was so big. That, that cost Clem the game. For sure. Uh, and that's why Dark decided to commit full. Clem is the best Terran in France. Uh, yes. <laughs> he is. Absolutely is the uh, the best Terran in France. 
when Marine Lord was at his peak, like a few months ago, you could have made an argument for Marine Lord. Maybe not a few months, maybe like six months ago. Six, uh, like between four and six months ago. Uh, is Clem the best Terran outside of Korea? It'll be between him and, and Hero Marine for sure. They're the only ones that can even be considered. But I think it's probably going to be... Uh, probably you got to go with Hero Marine. I mean, he, he performed so insanely well at IAM Katowice. Now, you also have to take it with a grain of salt. Clem had an insanely difficult group. But, I mean, Hero Marine beat Solar. He beat Joon. And he almost beat Raynor. So, I mean, that's impressive. All right, here we go. Spawning up at the top right. It is Team Liquid's Clem. Malem. And his opponent, spawning down on the bottom left, representing Dragon Fetus Gaming. It is Dark. In the blue. Uh, I don't think anyone expected that quick of a win. Now, you do have to mention that it's, you know, it's like 3 a.m. for Clem. <clears throat> but that was unexpected. He should have just pulled the Reaper back. So, yeah, basically he had the Reaper in the wrong spot. Very much wrong spot. Bum, bum. Every good European is from Texas. Yeah, it's like how Polt was Captain America. Makes, makes all the sense. That was that was such a weird weird thing. Now we are gonna be seeing Clem moving across the map with the SCV. There is a weird reverb effect on your in-game sounds. Interesting. Let me see if All right, that should be better. Marine Lord may be best AOE four player. Uh, I think he is. I think he is. So hopefully the reverb goes away. Let me know if it's still there. I didn't realize that literally reverb was turned on. Hopefully that'll fix it though. Very quick third command center coming down from Clem. No surprise, it's a good build on this map. Very long rush distance map. Uh, Dark showing a lot of respect to Clem in game number two because he puts the Creep Tumor very far back, drops the uh, six Zerglings instead of the four, which basically says, I, I'm not allowed to lose any units. 3 a.m. is peak Clem hours. Not quite, but it certainly he is a bit of a night owl. We do have a quick second barracks. So it's going to be the third command center into 2 on one And that's tough to deal with. It's quite strong. Reaper just kind of waddling around here looking for some uh, some damage where he can find it dark doing a good job of zoning everything out and will be like i said that uh third command center into two on one it's later obviously than the other pushes but it's still still can get something done no one is going to argue for the one Trumaro is the best foreign Terran. If only he practiced. If only. If only. Oh, nice. Creep Tumor Snipe. Will be a very quick double Evo out of Dark. He goes for a double gas opener as well. Why is that an option? Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird option. 
Overlord will get picked off here. Dark's got to be a little bit careful that he doesn't overdrone too hard. He could have a little bit of a little bit of a tough time holding on against an attack. He is actually pretty badly supply blocked here. Needs to start building Zerglings. Oh, he's building more drones though. Uh, yeah, if Cyril just pushes with this this first double meta back. This is going to be a little tough. This is going to be very tough, in fact. He's still droning. He's still droning. He has five Zerglings on the map. Uh, Dark? Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to build Zerglings. Going up into a layer, though. No Baneling Nest. Now, he's got good creep spread, so it's going to buy him a little bit of time. There we go. There's that Baneling Nest. Slight delay in sound. Maybe just me? There shouldn't be. Here come these first Marines. And Clem is going to go to work on this Overlord. Should be able to get a cancel, I think, on this base because there's not enough Zerglings. Queens are coming on over, though. And, yeah, there it is. There's that cancel. Nice move from Clem. Dark target firing down at the Metabacks. And will pitch these Marines all the way back. Does manage to save the Overlord as a result, actually. So that's kind of nice. Slight delay in sound. Is there is that reverb still there? Because I do have a solution for it potentially, but it means I don't get game sounds. Because of the setup I'm using. Ooh, you're gonna see a queen getting sniped here. A couple of creep tumors as well. Nice job from Slam getting some very good value. He's actually up quite a bit of army supply. This is yeah, pretty solid. Now, main problem is that Clem's upgrades are quite far behind. It does have the armory nicely timed. But so, uh, Dark is already getting into his 2-2. Ooh, Baneling will try and get sniped, but not going to be able to get picked off. He's only lost three Marines, by the way. Meanwhile, second drop coming in on the left side. Going to be able to pick off a couple of Creep Tumors here. Very nice stuff out of Clem. Dark will shove him back, but I'm liking this so far for Clem. And now he's going to get into Drilling Claws. So that sound is okay for you now? Oh, very cool. Uh, another attack comes in, but will get deflected once more. Dark getting into a pretty quick infestation pit here. And there it is. There are those very quick uh, additional <clears throat> hatcheries here. No rally on this one for drones, though. Still sounds like everything is inside a two for you. Ooh, target fire on the drones. Well, we'll get a little bit for uh, on the banes. Get a couple before being forced to pick up. Still sounds like everything is inside a two. Interesting. You hear the same. Hang on, let me try... I'm gonna try adjusting the position of the mouse, the uh, mic itself. Is that a little better? Let me know in, well, right now. There does seem to be a bit of echo on the in-game sound. I guess it wouldn't be my voice. Yeah, it'd be, all right, we're gonna try something. Okay, let me know. Let me know now. A uh, bit of an attack coming in on the right side here. Clem setting up some Drilling Claw Widow Mines. Zergly's trying to bait them on out. Oh, big friendly fire on a couple medivacs. This is... Well, there's not enough Banelings left over. 11 more in production. Widow Mine does unburrow here. Dark. Very nice job cleaning this up, but Clem will still hold the position, and now the Hydras, they are caught off creep without speed. Does take down the tank, and he's going to lose every single Hydra. Meanwhile, attack coming in on the left side. Going to try and get some more work done. Eventually, will get cleaned up, thanks to the 2-2 versus 1-1 upgrade setup. 
And if it was not better upgrades for Dark, I actually think Clem might have broken through here. Two two does complete now for Clem. We've got the Lurker Den done though, and Dark knows he's heavily pressured. Gonna go with the Adaptive Talons that burrow speed first, and then we'll go for the Lurker Range. Dark doing a really good job of keeping. I uh, did a good job of keeping these units alive here. Oh, big Widomize, but they mostly go off at on after that. They go off. On the uh, Overseers. Great job forcing the friendly fire on those Widow Mines. And even getting a decent Banelink connection. Clem is trying so desperately to clear up some of this creep. But Dark is defending it at every turn. Dark is doing such a good job of holding on here. Widow Mine does burrow but doesn't get the shot. Two of them will go down. Widowmine does... Actually, no, there wasn't a Widowmine there that went off. Just the Marines that killed a couple of units. You think moving the mic fixed it? It sounds good. Okay, yeah, so was, I, I know what it was then. All right, here we go. Uh, Clem continue to try and put the pressure on. He's continuing to rally into this. He's got plus two vehicle plating on the way. Nice target fire on these veins. God, the friendly fire, like the mind drags from Dark have been so good. Absolutely stellar out of him. And even with that, he is still struggling to hold on. But he is holding. He is holding this whole time. Okay, yeah, I know what it was then. I'm surprised I'm still getting uh, in-game audio with this, though. That's really nice. Sounds the same. That shouldn't be possible. We do have a bunch of lurkers morphing on in. Ghosts are in production, but it is just Marines for now. And Clem going to be forced to hot hike up his way out of here. Now, Dark shouldn't be pushing up this ramp. That's a little bit bold, but until he gets the lurkers at least. Oh, Clem. Oh, oh yeah. Well, actually, he's going to get away with one. Dark unburrows the lurkers. Does not have range on those. Oh, no, he does have range on the lurkers now. Clem is going to pick off a Reef Tumor. No, he's not. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, these are whole position. Oh, and he will get on out of here. Does manage to avoid it. Did I mute my sound? Uh, actually, I muted one of the outputs of the sound that I didn't realize I didn't need. That's kind of nice. God, so many creatures have been picked off. 53 creep tumors have been picked off in this game, but it is now going to be a very aggressive move coming out of Dark. He's defended for long enough. He wants to get for the counterattack. Will he be able to take down this base? Yes, very quickly. Just getting right on top of his opponent's army. Ghosts are not numerous enough to take down all these lurkers. Oh, the Marines trying to flank, but it's going to be the lurkers winning out here. However, the ghosts will be enough to clean this up. Clem, though, losing the fifth base, very expensive. Very expensive. I'm going to get sniped off here. Clem needs another base. Oh, a couple of... Oh, Ghost. Ah, it's Ghost uh, <laughs> detonating some Baylings there. Ah, the splits against these Widowmines have been so good. Oh, nice job. Tank out the Widowmine before the fire. Tank getting gunned down as well. And now the Oral Command will be forced to lift off once more. Clem having trouble trying to secure this fifth base. Liberator does get pushed away. God, what an action-packed game we've had so far. Clem is out-trading his opponent, but that is to be expected in a game like this. Take a look at the resources lost so far. Seven lurkers, 408 zerglings, 36 widow mines. Four ghosts at a time here for Clem. But he is he is a little bit broke. He is very broke, in fact. 
Maybe able to cancel a few banks, which is, you know, kind of nice. Widow Mine. Oh, will burrow on up here. Oh, Snipe's going to come on in. We'll get a good number of Hydras. Sniping. Oh, my God. A friendly fire. Widow Mine thanks that overseer. And now we see a couple of the ducks coming in on the Ghost. Mass Baneling on the chase. But I get one Ghost. Not so bad. Not so bad. Plus two missile going to complete here. There are a lot of medevacs here for Clem. 12 medevacs. Would love to see a parasitic bomb on them. A lot of them extremely low on HP. Three in the red, two in the orange. The rest are all in the yellow. Snipe's going to come down. We'll take down a lurker. Might even get two. Hey, sure does. Meanwhile, Hydraling Bane coming in on the right side. That's a lot of Bane links. Tank very nicely placed, but the wall is going to get uh, taken down here. Clem does come home and will clean this up. Dark maybe thrown away a little bit too much on this counterattack. And uh, Clem is... He's still very much in this game. He's still very much in this game. He's now 12,000 resources ahead. 12,000 resources ahead in terms of resources lost. Dark. I mean, he's he's done such a good job of holding on for so long. And not just holding on, but holding on in a good way. Ooh, nice split on that Baneling right there. Or against the Widow Mine, I should say, on the Baneling. Snipe saying, uh, coming in on Banelings themselves. Ooh, he does lose a couple of ghosts, but he manages to get out with the majority, only losing two. Ghost surprisingly tanky. Takes a lot of Banelings to blow up a ghost, even with plus three weapons. Liberator actually going to be able to get, uh, of course, a lot of lost mining time. Ooh, we do see this <laughs> spot where they were fighting before. Once again, coming into... Oh my god, the brilliant split. Instantaneous. On that one medevac, another one now getting split against. Ooh, this one. Oh, that was... I think that one had three ghosts inside. I think he just killed the medevac with three ghosts inside. Oh, that's huge. Resources lost. Now only 9,000. Starting to swing a little bit in the favor of Dark here. Oh, Hydra's going to try and uh, kill off that Liberator. Not going to be able to do so. Banelings and Lings jumping it on top of these ghosts and the Marauder. God, another friendly fire Widowmine. Dark is so good at turning these against the Terran. Still, Clem has a big army and a scary army at that. Ooh, Snipe comes in, takes out the Viper as it's trying to charge up energy. Now, there's not a lot of ghosts here and there's not a lot of ghost energy. Clem has taken such brilliant engagements, but he's still struggling. He's back up to 11,000 uh, resources ahead in terms of resources lost. Widow Mine actually not doing that much damage. Only just a couple of units, but the Lurkers and, well, Lurkers, Lings, Hydras, and Bane's going to come forward here. It's just Widow Mines and Marines. That's not going to cut the muster. Bane Lings are going to be able to take out most of these Widow Mines. The base goes down, and Clem can't find any counter damage on the other side of the map. Dark is doing exactly what he needs to do here. Oh, and he's even going to find a couple of medevacs. Hydralis will find two medevacs. Almost gets a third. Oh, and once again, another base going to get found on the top right. This 12 o'clock base looking like Dark is just going to take it out. Almost uncontested. Clem kind of lost track of these Lurkers and Hydras. And now his economy is absolutely in the dumps. Dark is on. How many bases? He's on like nine bases. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases. Eight bases here for Dark. And he's taking a ninth. And Clem has not been able to secure even a, a secure and hold a fifth for any significant period of time. Liberator is going to get taken down. Clem, he is... Well, he built double center tower here. Just shows how heavily pressured he has been. He does have another base on the right side. 
And he's retaking this base in the middle. He's back up to five bases. But this is this is starting to get really out of hand. Really out of hand as we pass the 20 minute mark of this game. Snipe does manage to take out this lurker that was left for a little bit of harass. Attack coming in once again. Bio Ghost Mine. Ah, it's doing it's doing good work. There are still a lot of ghosts here. There's also 32 Baneleys working on in. Dark does not have a big bank. Clem can still make uh, make some magic happen. Oh man, this Widow Mine. It's up to 21 kills in the middle of the map. Ooh, another. Oh, nice on Burrow on that Widow Mine, making sure he doesn't friendly fire his own SCVs. God, this is, uh, this is very, very tightly contested. We're going to see Dark starting to move forward here, but Clem disengages. Ooh, EMPs on the Vipers. Very nice. No enhanced shockwaves, but he still was able to land the uh, correct EMPs. Snipes do take out that frontline lurker. Dark wants to get in on top of this army. Snipes are going to land, getting quite a few units here. And a lot of the lurkers getting picked off. Ling Bane going to come in on top of this base. Dark. Oh, the Banelings are going to try and roll in on top of these Marines. SCVs were pulled, but the tank will provide the covering fire here for Clem. And the SCVs are going to survive. Siege tank. Well, it's going to cover a base that Dark is attacking, but is not there. Still getting some uh, some good shots. But the mine doesn't get too much done. Ultimately, though, it will be uh, Clem able to deal with this. Oh, oh, the Burrow. Oh, my God. He burrowed the Banelys, but he didn't detonate them when he had a chance. That was such a nice move, but unfortunately, it, he didn't actually kind of take advantage of it. What's he going to be looking to do with those? God, those burrowed Banelys. Random Lurker on the left side as well. Clem. Pushing forward once again. Where are the Lurkers? There's not that many on the map. Clem might actually be doing it here. He's up significantly in army supply. Way ahead in army value. Oh my god. He's up to almost 20,000 resources lost ahead. Clem? Oh, the Neural Parasite. Does he have it? He does. He's looking for the Neural Parasite. And to EMP his opponent's ghost. Actually, he goes for the snipe on his opponent's ghost. Baneleys are going to roll forward on top of the Marines. Uh, nice spread on those Baneleys, actually. Barely getting any Widow Mine Fire. Dark, he's actually in a lot of trouble. I don't think he can actually deal with Clem's army. He's building the Accidental Swarm Host, which is always a sign that the Zerg is under extreme duress. Ooh, Lings are going to try and flood on in here. Widow Mine does get an okay shot. The, uh, the Fungal Growth coming in on the Ghost, but he will manage to hot pick up most of them. Now, if he had a planetary gear, that would be so nice, but he doesn't. Beautiful splits against those Widow Mines from Dark. He's doing such a good job against this. Ooh, the Widow Mines are going to try and burrow to get in here. Well, actually, most of the Zerli is getting picked off. The Fungal Growth lands on the Metabax, but none of the army. Oh, the one flanking Bailey, not going to be enough, and Clem will just barely hold on. Burrow on the Infestors, not going to be enough to save them, and Clem... He holds, but once again, it is an at-what-cost situation. He's lost so much of his eco. Neural Parasite. Oops, Snipe is going to come in on this one Infester. That was a fat, juicy Infester. Clem losing all but three of his ghosts, though. And he does not have the money to replenish. He has traded so damn well. Over 20,000 resources lost ahead for Clem. Oh, well, now not 20,000. Now, 19,000. Still, he's traded so well, but it is looking like he is just running out of steam. This burrowed Zergling, so nice. So nice right here. Dark. Man, this game is so down to the wire. What an insanely epic uh, slugfest. These burrowed Banelings, they want, they want something so bad. Scan. Need to see a scan to clear out that one creep tumor. Or that, not creep tumor, the, uh, uh, Burrowed Zergling. He's back up to 44 SCVs, which is, yeah, you know, not bad. Oh, big Widow Mines coming in in the middle. Lurkers do burrow up. 
Snipe's gonna come in on the Hydras, and the Hydras are actually pretty high value units at this point. Scan comes on in. It does take down another Lurker. It's so funny to watch the uh, Swarm Host trying to go to work. Oh man, he still hasn't scanned and cleared out this uh, Zergling yet. He really needs to. Clem is up to 21,000 resources ahead. Can he actually just trade his way to a victory? Now, this is where the uh, planetary fortresses would be very, very valuable. Because his opponent has spent all his bank, he can't afford to go, like, a huge lurker uh, run by into a base. Lurker does get cleaned up barely before killing off those marines. Another Zergling run by getting dealt with here. We're up to now 22,000 resource loss disparity. Look at these. Look at these swarm hosts. Another Lurker does go down, and Dark is actually starting to run out of steam once again. But he is going to find a little... Oh, he's going to find a lot of damage on his face. I can't believe they didn't make with WCS game hard. I feel so betrayed. 73 SCVs to 94. How many Zerglings have gone down? 976. And as I say that, we are on the verge of passing 1,000. 993, 994, 995, 997. 1,000. 1,000 Zerglings have gone down in this game. And it is still so close. More and more Zerglings flooding on in here. We will see Clem sprinting back to try and save his SEVs. And he's going to be able to do so. Does force the lift on the command center. Oh, that Hydra is going to... Oh, just barely gets the Liberator. Snipe does take down the Lurker. And the Zerglings are going to be able to take care of these units. Will force them away. Clem. Oh my god, this is still so close. It is still so insanely close. Another Liberator does go down. The base falls. Dark, he is still on 78 drones. He is actually mining out of so much of his side of the map. Ooh, this is actually a significant... I wonder how long this has been going on. Oh, God. That's actually quite a lot of drones that are not mining. 23,000 resources lost difference. Clem. Oh, he's going to give up this base on the right side in order to kill one of Darks. More and more SCVs falling. Clem has said, this is it. I've got to get in here. I've got to try and get something done. And he's not going to be able to do it. Banelings do all go down. And he actually target fires the last one. Nice job from Clem. And there's so many medevacs here. These units are going to be very difficult to kill. Another base will fall, and Dark cannot kill off this last mining base because of this planetary fortress. Now it's only eight mineral patches. God, Clem is, he's killed so much. So much of Dark. So many units. Drones are going to fall. A couple of hydras. Ooh, Dark can't really afford those losses. Zerglings will get in on top of this base, though. Clem? Oh, man. He is, re it, it is, it is actually turning into a base trade. Every single unit that goes down for either side right now can be impactful. Dark. Oh, that's so many Zerglings. Clem needs to lift up and get on out of here. Does lose one or two units. Clem knows that he cannot take his foot off the gas at all. If he wants to have any hope. One Infester being uh, produced right now. Lurker Den will get target fired down. That's a wise target right there to go for that. And the spawning pool, actually, is a really, really nice uh, decision to go for that. We'll get on out of here. Spawning pool, not a worthwhile target enough to sacrifice the units. Dark is trying to re-expand a little bit. Clem. God, it's still even on army supply. With a, a significant army value advantage once again for Clem, but it is a lot of it is in those medevacs. Clem, 
Oh man, if he had one more planetary fortress. Fungal growth could be huge here. Ooh, he wants that Baneling Nest. Not going to be able to get it. And a fungal growth plus those Hydras would have spelt a lot of dead Metavax. Maybe even a lot of dead units. Look at this. He boosts or he stims to get into the Metavax right there. Dark. I, I, Cle like, Clem's not out of this yet. I actually think that he's still got a shot. Because Dark is so heavily mined out, if Clem finds this base once more and picks it off. Ooh, the Changeling. Oh, the Changeling is so good for Dark. Oh, it's so good for Dark. I can't believe how close this game is. This base going to come online, and that's going to give a huge mineral boost to Dark. Massive mineral boost. Three Liberators coming down at a time. I, mm, I don't know if that's the best usage, but they're going to be really good at dealing with... Uh, at dealing with run buys. I do like this attempted marine drop on the right side, but unfortunately he's going to run into like seven hydras and will deal with that easily. Another base going to try and get landed here, but Dark has it landed on, has it blocked. Oh man. This is so insanely close. I can't believe after so much action for such a long time, we're seeing such a huge uh, just moment of chill. God, there's so many Zerglings right now on the map. And not enough Widow Mines to deal with them. It's 160 Zerglings. We're up to 1,100 Zerglings having been killed. And 101 Banelings having been killed, not including the ones that detonate. Oh, great split right there on that Widow Mine. We will see this base getting taken down. And that's another mining base for Dark going down here. Clem going to be able to uh, take care of a few creep tumors as well. He actually is going to find his base. Meanwhile, ooh, Zerglings trying to come in on the right side. Clem, God, it's 168 Zerglings. But this drop, this drop is going to find so much. It might find the base again. Zerglings do try and get in here, but I think Clem is going to be able to hold in this particular case. Friendly Fire Widowmine not going to get the kill. EMP... I'm not sure where that landed. Clem is actually going to land at this topside base. He's not doing it, is he? Is he doing it? This one base on the right side still alive. This is insane. This is insanity. Ooh, the burrowed, the burrowed infestors. Oh, he wants so badly. Wants so badly to get a big fungal growth or a neural parasite. He can neural this ghost right here if he's so inclined. Base on the right side will get taken down. And the Liberator is going to lock down that location so that a unit cannot be used against it. Assimilation oh, he gets the uh, neural parasite. And he actually kills off his own ghost right there. We are gonna Oh, the friendly fire widow mine. Huge shot. And now the Liberator getting turned on Clem's forces. Clem, he is going to get overwhelmed on this base. He needs to save as many units as he can. But I don't even know if that's going to matter. Hydras are going to take down this base. What a smart decision to neural the Liberators. Turning them against Clem's own forces. And that might be enough to break through now. Oh, the widow mines are going to be huge on those Zerglings. But is it going to be enough? 108 Zerglings still remain, only 18 Marines, and 12 make it 9 SCVs. This game has been bonkers. Dark is playing out of his mind, both players are. And now the Fungal Growth will land. Doesn't prevent the Widowmine from getting a big shot on those units. Ooh, the Fungal Growth though, this one does get a huge connection on the Bio. And Clem, he is being pushed back all the way into his main base. Widowmine burrows unburrows to stay alive but will end up dying as a result of it liberator not quite enough to hold on and it was so insanely down to the wire 35 minutes of pure non-stop aggression 90,000 resources of zerg to 67,000 of darren but it's gonna be dark taking the game 1288 zerglings 130 drones 110 scvs 37 lurkers 325 marines 
insanity. My God, what a game, what a series. I cannot believe that. Game one, so disappointing, over in less than five minutes. Game two, 35 minute slugfest between two titans of the matchup. And now it's going to be Dark versus Geralt in a ZVP semifinals. God, Dark is so flipping good. Insanity. Both players over 400 APM for the duration of that game. What an absolutely bonkers freaking game. Neuralon lives. God, what an amazing engagement out of Dark. I actually think Clem, if that engagement doesn't go the way that it did, I think Clem was actually starting to take control of that game. I really do. I really freaking do. What an insane, insane performance out of both players. Just ridiculous. That was so well done. Dark is so patient. You feel like Dark has the best spellcaster use of any Zerg? He has the best clutch spellcaster usage of any Zerg. I think Serral still has the best spellcaster usage, but I think Dark has the best, like, situational understanding. Like, he is really, really good with those units. Windfesters are back. <laughs> 